Now, at the beginning of the pandemic, elective procedures were put on hold to try and not overwhelm our hospitals. That included mammograms and cancer screenings. While it was done to keep people safe from coronavirus, it also created a major decline in life-saving care. Let's bring back in Allison Grob now. And Allison, this could have had, this could have consequences for years to come. The National Cancer Institute looked at this in a new study. It found the decline in colorectal screenings and mammograms could result in an additional 10,000 deaths beginning in 2021 because that early detection will be lost. We know early detection is key. Dr. Hassan Ibrahim, an oncologist with Baycare Medical Group, says one in eight women will have breast cancer in their lifetime. But advances in technique and technology of mammograms have led to early detection, which means less invasive treatment and fewer complications. The issue with the pandemic is getting people to go get those mammograms. Nobody can underestimate the evil of the pandemic. But we cannot underestimate the evil of the of the cancer itself too, and and how early detection is so important. Um, we're saving. I mean, early mammogram and other uh, screening tools have been also saving lives. The American Cancer Society says the pandemic has contributed to decreasing in breast cancer colorectal and cervical cancer screenings by as much as 94%. While people are st starting to go back and get those screenings, it's not back to pre-pandemic levels just yet. The advice from Dr. Ibrahim, go get screened. Your doctors and hospitals, they're following safety procedures and said you should be as well. Remember, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. That checkup could save your life.